Hi guys, this is Luke. I'm recording myself for the very first time, so I would like to say hello to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. I know I'm not a big programming channel, but uh, yeah, each like, each subscription, each comment gives me a huge motivation to carry on with what I'm doing. So one more time, thank you so much for your support. And the next thing is that with this video I'm starting a brand new series called Beyond the Basics of Django. So in this section you will find hopefully uh, essential content for you to become a middle level developer. Instead of doing all these projects that you can find all around the internet like to-do apps or blogs, we will create smaller projects that not always will make sense but they will teach you some of the most powerful and coolest features of Django. And we will begin in this with this video with the custom user model. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started with this tutorial. So I have a blank window of terminal open. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to deactivate the Conda environment. Next, I'll go to the desktop. And over here, let's create a virtual environment called Beyond Basics or maybe Beyond NV. All right, let's wait a few seconds. Now we can go ahead and access this directory. So Beyond NV and let's activate our virtual environment. So source bin activate. All right, so now we can install Django. All right, so now if we run the command pip freeze, we have a confirmation that Django has been installed so we can set up a Django project. So Django admin start project and let's name it movie proj. All right, so right now we have in this directory over here beyond NV um, elements bin include lib and our movie proj. So if we go to the movie proj, right now we have also a movie proj over here. So to avoid the confusion, I'm going to rename this one to source. So I'm going to go up a directory and rename movie proj to src. And right now, as you can see, we have src. So I can go to the source directory and open up code, Visual Studio Code Editor. All right, so over here we have our main project folder and the manage py file, which will help us manage all the administrative tasks. We don't have the database yet. We will create one soon. But before we do that, let's actually jump into the terminal and create our application. So we need to run, we need to actually use the manage py file now. Python manage py start app and let's call it users okay so now we have a users application folder let's go to models py file and here we are going to create our custom user class so we can type class custom user will be the name and this will inherit from the abstract user so we need to import this model from django contrib auth and then models import abstract user. So right now we can copy it and paste it over here. So what we are doing right now is inheriting from the abstract user. We are getting all the fields of the standard user model and we can add additional ones. So in our case we would like to add is director and is pro producer. Both of those fields are going to be boolean fields. So let's define them. I'm going to set a value of default to false for the director and for the producer I'll change it to true. Alright, so later when we will cover login functionality 
we will allow only the producers to log in to our system, to our site. The directors, on the other hand, will have some kind of a notification that you need to be a producer in order to access the site. All right. So what we need to do next is to save this model's py file and jump into the main project folder, open up the settings py file and add this application, this user's application to the installed apps list. All right. And also let's go somewhere, um, somewhere maybe over here and let's write out and then user model and here we need to indicate what user model we will be using so we are referring to the user's application where we created our custom user class custom user okay so we have the user's application and in the models py we have our custom user so uh, right now if we save this we can jump back into the terminal and run python manage py make migrations and python manage py migrate and python manage py run server so we haven't uh, registered our uh, user uh, custom user model in the admin yet but we can jump into the admin to see if everything is okay so First of all, let's open up a new window and go to the admin. Over here, of course, we won't access the admin because we haven't created a super user. Let's do this right now. Python manage py create super user. Let's provide a name and a password. All right, so now let's uh, refresh and try to log in of course we need to write down python manage py run server okay and one more time let's log in and here we are so we don't have any users over here we have just the groups in the authentication and the authorization section so in order to have the users, well, we need to jump into the admin of the user's application and we need to write down from dot models import user, custom user actually. And over here, let's write admin site register custom user. This won't work entirely because um, you will soon uh, see what kind of issues we will be facing but let's do this right now like this and then we will return and add some code to this admin py file let's refresh and here are the users so let me try to add one and as you can see this isn't looking that good because we begin adding the user from the password and then the username is somewhere in the middle over here we have the last login, then we have the super status check, but the staff status check and the active check is like almost at the end. Um, we have also our two checks for the is director and is producer. So those are the fields that we added, but there is no information. What is their purpose? What they are referring to? So this layout over here is extremely confusing and let's fix this. Let's jump back into the user's application and let's create a forms py file where we will begin by doing some imports. Well, first of all, we need to import the form. So from Django import, import forms. The next thing that we want to import is the user creation form and we can get it from Django contrib auth and then forms user creation form and finally we need our model so from dot models import custom user so now we can define a class let's call it custom user creation form and this will inherit from our user creation form 
over here with the class meta we will indicate the model so we are referring to the custom user and we want to set the fields to be equal all all right then so now we can jump back into the admin let's bring this form to our admin so from dot forms import custom user creation form and we will also need a user admin so from django contrib again contrib again auth but this time admin import and we want to import the user admin so again we need to define a class let's call it custom user admin and let's pass in this user admin this class is inheriting from the user admin and the model will be the custom user and we would also want to specify the form so we need to put in add form and set it to custom custom creation custom user creation form okay and now we can register this custom user admin next to the custom user so let's save it let's refresh and as you can see we have a pretty good looking add user template it's looking actually as the standard template so let's see if this is working as we wish it would let's press save and everything seems to be normal except that we don't see our custom fields maybe for a second you thought that we finally fixed this problem actually there is still one more step that we need to take in order to have this working properly so over here we are going to define the field sets and we need to open the tuple write down user admin and field sets and after the comma let's open up another tuple here we will set the header so basically we are setting this right now and i'm going to put in user role and this time we need to open up a dictionary write down fields and what fields do we want to have in this section well we want to have is director and is producer all right so now we can go ahead and save this hit the refresh button and as you can see everything is the way we want it to be so we have the user role over here again we we set the name over here so we, if i would put in rolex after refresh we have user rolex okay um yeah we can now go ahead and test this out so i'm going to refresh so we have the user role not user rolex and i'm going to set the yeah we can leave as is producer so i'm going to simply save this and there it is everything is working as we want it to all right guys so this is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe to my channel in the next part i hope it will get even more exciting so thank you once again and see you soon take care and bye bye